welcome back to the show. Five weeks ago, we profiled the inspiring woman who bravely broke the glass ceiling for how many conflicts of interest a West Wing staffer can have. What was the secret of Ivanka's success? We had no idea. So imagine our excitement when we came back from DC to find her brand new instruction manual waiting on our doorstep like an emboldened immigration officer. <gasps> Hooray, now we can start our own book club. In Women Who Work, First Daughter and Human Tooth Whitening Strip, Ivanka Trump <laughs> writes about her struggle as the working mother of a beautiful 10-year-old lifestyle brand. In 2007, I launched my fine jewelry collection. Women were interested in buying jewelry for themselves and were no longer waiting for a man to do it for them. Oh, Alexa, quit ruining feminism! <laughs> If there's one thing the author inherited from her dad, besides, you know, absolutely everything, it's his recipe for word salad. People talk about balance and finding balance, but, you know, in and of itself, balance implies a scale which never stays in balance for, for very long. So rather, I try to make sure that my life is generally architected around the priorities that I've set for myself. We're all working really hard at architecting the lives that we want to live, supporting women in, in architecting this ideal life for themselves. Encourages her to architect a life that she wants to live. Oh my God, stop using architect as a verb. That's not how you language. Learn how to architect a sentence. Someone also told her that life is a verb, which really makes me look forward to Ivanka's companion line of Facebook memes. <laughs> but if you're not a fan of Ivanka's prose, don't worry, you won't find much of it in this book. Women Who Work contains more fonts than original thoughts. There are 208 names cited in this book. She has a lot of inspirational quotes from different people, from Oprah to Gandhi, uh, obviously including Jane Goodall, Deepak Chopra. Reviews calling it a strawberry milkshake of inspirational quotes. Okay, still, that's better than her father, whom reviewers are calling an orange Julius of incomprehensible bullshit. <laughs> True to her family's branding empire, Ivanka wrote this book largely by taking other people's work and stamping her name on it. Practically every word that isn't I, Trump, or architecting is cribbed from brainyquotes.com or another self-help book, mainly The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, which she quotes over 30 times. So Ivanka clearly has at least as much wisdom to offer as three guys on your flight in premium economy. <laughs> it's like Ivanka forgot she had a book assignment, remembered on the last day, ran to the Hudson books, ripped out random pages, then vision boarded them together with the contents of her wastebasket to create Women Who Work, the only book to quote Nelson Mandela, Sun Tzu, and Meatwad from Aqua Teen Hunger Force. No, I did not make that up. Ivanka did when she mistakenly attributed a quote by this little known pastor and marriage guru to this even littler known screenwriter and voice actor with the same name. And now she works in the White House advising the president. <laughs> We're all gonna die. <laughs> Who could have anticipated that confining your research to internet memes would have a downside? One particularly regrettable passage, she uses a Toni Morrison quote about the devastating impacts of black slavery to start a chapter called Working Smarter that asks, are you a slave to time, to your time, or the master of it? <sighs> what? Oh no, girl, oh no. When Whoopi Goldberg is sighing at you, things have gone horribly wrong. You in danger, girl. Mm -hmm. yeah. Ivanka Trump is, of course, white. So white that she thanks four people named Bara, Tamara, Dara, and Lara, which sounds like a millennial version of the Heathers. But it takes a special kind of whiteness to take a Maya Angelou line about racism, mangle it, and apply it to asking for a raise. Though I get why she changed it. Paying for what you get isn't exactly part of the Trump family philosophy. But I'm sorry, I interrupted you while you were Columbusing feminism. This modern working woman is working hard 
integrated all aspects of her life and all her passions. You know, when you have children, your child gets sick, well, there goes your balance. You're not going into work that day. Or the next day, because your boss at the chicken processing plant, who is not your dad, will probably fire you for skipping work to take care of your kid. Follow your bliss. <laughs> if you are raised working poor like me, this book will inspire you. Specifically, it will inspire you to challenge the next rich woman you see to a broken beer bottle fight. <laughs> it's full of super relatable stories, like the time Anna Wintour called Ivanka, then a senior in college, to offer her a job at Vogue, and Ivanka turned it down to fulfill her dream of becoming a builder, which is what she calls herself, and no, that is not a joke. That's a story that Princess Aurora thought the average woman could learn something from. Okay, look. Ivanka is smart, polished, and hardworking. I truly believe that if she hadn't been Donald Trump's daughter, she would still have been one of the more successful realtors in the Southeast Tampa area. <laughs> but her belief that she's a role model is laughable. The Germans have a word for the brand of female empowerment Ivanka is selling. Actually, the Germans have a lot of words about America's new family-style government, including ex demokratie weg weißes mafia tochter gesvanse gipfel der gigerons Ubelkeitsgefühl, which means the sick feeling you get when the former beacon of democracy delegates Meadow Soprano to a G20 summit. Honestly, the Germans are so uber Ivanka. Some people in the audience at a women's forum in Germany booed and hissed when she discussed how her father has helped empower women. Although part of the problem may have been the way her company translated the women who work hashtag into German. Anyhow, if you want to pickle yourself in the vapid platitudes that didn't help her climb from the very, very top all the way to the terrifyingly inappropriately influential, Women Who Work is available for $26 at bookstores or free at your local library where you can help future borrowers by returning the dust jacket with a better book inside. <laughs> anyway, this is a milestone for Ivanka. Finally, she can claim to have a jacket that's made in America. We'll be right back.